where you get your beats. So my client wanted her hair at a three guard. So basically, I'm gonna use my shears and take it down that way, take off the bulk. That way, it makes it easier for you to run the clipper through the hair. So right now I'm picking the hair out, making sure there's not any knots under there. That way, again, it makes it easier for the guard to run through the hair. So now that I have everything picked out, instead of using my shears, I'm gonna use my clippers to basically freehand and knock off a little bit more. So right now with my three guard with the lever fully closed, I'm going to run through the hair taking it down to that number three that she wants it going with the grain. So I ended up washing my client's hair as well, but right now I grab my two guard and I see this area right here where the taper is uneven. So I'm really trying to blend this area with the three guard on top so that everything looks even. Now setting in my bald line using my Babyliss Skeleton FX. I'm gonna set it in almost like a rainbow like shape um, that way I could build that shape um, as I'm setting in my other guidelines. Now with the lever open I'm going up about a half inch building around the bottom line that I set in with my liners. Same thing with the one guard open, going up about a half inch, basically building around that guideline that we set at the bottom. We want to make it like a rainbow like shape as much as possible, that way it looks like a burst taper. Now with the two guard closed, I'm basically going to debulk the top um, in that area, lighten that area up a bit, that way um, the transition can be more smoother. So I always like to go back down, use my one guard with the lever open, and kind of clean up that area between the one and the two. Now using only the corners of the blade, because it's a tight, small area, Using my zero guard with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. So the same way on how I told you to use your corners, you're doing the same thing with the lever fully closed using your corners in a flick out motion flick out the bottom line now remember if you need to go up adjust your lever as you go up Next, I'm gonna use my Babyliss foil shavers to basically make the bottom half razor ball. 
And lastly, what you wanna do is detail your work. What I like to do is rest my eyes, take a look away from the blend for a couple of seconds, come back to it, or you could utilize your mirror, okay? The mirror gives you a different perspective on the blend, shows you different things or areas where you need to debulk. So utilize your mirror, use your corners, and kind of debulk those areas. So before I line my client up, I always like to take the front line down a guard size lower. So I'm going with the two guard with the lever closed and I'm just taking it down making sure everything is nice and even and you know it just looks uh, 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 like everything runs smoothly and it's not like all spotty in different areas. Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a the full 360, and they come out looking like... Damn, son, we make it look easy. You, too, this is The Cut. And if you like it, 
Make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother, he does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 Jeezy and my Instagram is 360 Jeezy. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here.